So we're back here with another technique review video. You guys sent in Ricky Garrard's snatch video for me to take a look at. Ricky's just come back from Waterpalooza. I think he won Waterpalooza, absolutely incredible. He's had a great runner training since he's been back to competition and his Olympic weight I think is looking equally as good at the moment. So we're gonna take a look at this snatch video together. I'll let you know what I think. First things I wanna take a look at when it comes to Ricky's lift or setup position, if you like, for the snatch is I really like it in terms of his foot, foot width and foot positioning. He turns his toes out very slightly, which I think is great because for me more than anything, one thing I'd say in his setup position is he's a little bit rounded in the shoulders here in the setup in particular. One thing I'd maybe change or get him to kind of start to work on is a little bit of thoracic extension to get the shoulders sat back and down a little bit more in the setup position so that he can keep his arms relaxed in the first phase of the lift. But again, it doesn't look like a huge issue so far as he initiates the movement. Maintains a really good position with his back, creates a lot of tension in that first phase of the lift. One thing I did spot, and again, the amount that this is happening, I don't think it is a huge issue. But you'll notice as he initiates the movement or the first pull, the weight shifts onto his toes a little bit. And I think that may be one of the reasons why, as we progress into the lift a little bit more, the upper body started to kick in a little bit more than we kind of want. There's a little bit of bend here happening with the arms. Um, that's him trying to get the bar back into his center of gravity before he extends, okay? Now, this causes a slight opening up of the chest a little bit early here. You can see how he's now starting to move back behind the bar, but he does stay fairly flat with those feet until the point where he hits extension, which is why there's still a great amount of vertical force created here into this top position which is really good small amount of room for improvement but ultimately it's 135 kilo snatch it's heavy weight and he's getting a great amount of height here on the bar but with what I said there about his position as he initiates from the floor and then as the bar's going past the knee, um, him sitting back behind it, I think this is why we'll see a slight shift back into his receiving position. So if we watch closely how Ricky's feet move during this part of the lift, if I just put a little mark there on his toe, when he hits extension, you'll see there's a decent amount of movement happening back here into the catch position. So I'd say a slight change to that setup position, a little bit of work on thoracic extension, keep the arms hanging loose, will help with that. Get him striking up straight up rather than back at the top. As we go into the receiving position, I'd say the feet in terms of the moving, they don't really move out, but he does look a little bit tight in his adductors in this catch position. You can see how the knees are a little bit collapsed. But in terms of his torso position, it's really good. It's nice and upright. His lockout's really solid here when he's in the overhead position, which is great. And that makes it nice and easy for a lad as strong as this and with as good of mobility as he has in terms of depth to stand up really nicely at the bottom position. So overall, really solid lift from Ricky. I think you're going to see him snatch over 140 kilos in no time at all. I know he's probably I think he's getting some help with some from some top Australian weightlifters as well, which I'm sure they're gonna kind of pick up on a couple of these issues too uh, and help him out with that. So I'm really excited to, to see this bloke go over 140 in no time at all. So I hope you enjoyed that review video, a couple of bits for Ricky to work on, and again, another cracking lift from a top cross athlete.